Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I will test a product for you. It will be the ABC arm bow corrector. I will just read out for you what's on the back of this product. First guidance. With ABC beginners learn the right arm movement for a straight bow stroke fast. Second correction. With ABC arm movements become apparent and are unconsciously corrected. Three control. A continuous control of the bowing angle is made possible. Also for the more advanced. Invented and patented by Professor Christoph Henkel, Christoph Henkel from Germany. There are two quotes on the back of this package. First from Ivan Galamian, uh, the teacher of Itzhak Perlman or Pinchas Zuckermann. The quote says, the straight bow stroke from the frog to the tip is the basis of all bowing technique. The second quote is from a man uh, called Shinichi Suzuki, the inventor of the Tsukini method. The quote says, The arm bow corrector, ABC, that was developed in Germany is a great invention. I am excited and recommend this highly. Okay, sounds nice. I got this product from the shop polycord.com. It's my shop of choice and they support me and my YouTube channel with sending me products. I'm very thankful to them and greetings go out to them. I always wanted to get one of these bow correctors because I have many students and some of them really struggle with the direction of the bow. So let's try to mount it on the violin. This is a violin. And this is the ABC corrector. So let's see how we can attach this should be done like this. Uh, okay. Fits quite nice. You need a little bit of strength to widen it, to spread it, to, to attach it to the fingerboard. But I mean it has to be in a fixed position. So it won't change its position when we bow. We want to change our bow, right? Okay, there's a little bit of, of movement still, but I think that depends on the fingerboard as well, how thick it is. Let's unattach it once first and I will show you. Okay, I just discovered here you can see on the inside there's a black rubber. It uh, should um, prevent this, this device from slipping up and down the fingerboard. And now you can see on the other side there is not this rubber. Let's assume I would have gotten a perfect product. Maybe this is kind of a Monday product, like uh, for testing. It's just for testing purpose. We uh, can attach it to the um, fingerboard. And the good thing I like about this device is we can adjust the contact point by sliding it up and down. We can go quite far to the bridge before it actually touches the bridge, which should not be the case. Okay, let's stay in around that, that position. And what you can see here, quite good, is that this device includes a slightly tilted angle towards the fingerboard, which is the angle we want to learn in the beginning for our bowing as well. Let's see how it works. So I put my bow in between here. Yeah, it fits quite tightly. There's a little bit of of movement here, but in general it's quite in a fixed position, which it should be. Let's go to the frog, okay. Okay, that's quite nice. Okay, that's quite interesting. 
I think um, this can be a very useful device for a, for a teacher and uh, especially for a beginning student it's a quite good exercise. You can really feel when your bow is not going straight. It uh, immediately gives you a resistance. Let's try to actually bow badly. You actually cannot bow badly with this device. It holds your bow quite good in place. Let's check the tilting of the bow. Okay, this was what I expected. You can still tilt your bow in a bad way because the, the hair is so flexible. I can actually turn my bow. I can make a 360 with my bow. This is not the reason why this thing exists, but uh, I assumed because it's a little bit tilted to the fingerboard, it should correct also the, the, the tilt of the bow. And it does. Depending on the point where we are at the bow, it is in the middle it's quite easy to tilt in every direction because the hair is very flex flexible there. Okay, let's, let's try to adjust the contact point. For a piano, we would go to the fingerboard a little bit more. And let's try. Okay, you should be careful. You cannot use the whole bow with this thing because, as you can see, when you go to the tip right here, it touches the tip and you, uh, you can, can get stuck here. So I would recommend just bowing until this point. And with the frog, sadly, you cannot use the last five centimeters, which are quite important to learn at some place. Let's try to play a piece with this. Okay, that's too much of a... Um, the contact band is too much on the fingerboard now. I try to go in the middle and not make it too hard. Okay, it's a quite strange feeling for me right now because I am used to, to play with the contact point a lot more. For a student who really struggles with the straight bow stroke, this can be helpful, of course. But also you have to be aware of the fact that you cannot use your whole bow and especially the last centimeters of the bow are quite important because you have to change the movement of the arm there a little bit. You have to go in front of yourself to get a straight bow and many violinists have the habit at the tip to go in this direction. Just at the tip, just at the last seven centimeters. So you cannot correct the last seven centimeters with, with this device. And also you cannot learn the last centimeters at, at the frog. But for the middle position which is the important part for a very, very beginner. It's a quite helpful device. Okay, let's try afterwards how we feel now without the ABC corrector.
as you can imagine, it just feels like now I can move, I can walk again on the violin. For beginners or teachers, it can be very helpful to help develop a straight bow stroke. Thank you Polychord again for supporting me with this tool. There are some other things I will test in the near future for them. I hope you enjoyed the video today. Check out my videos about bowing if you want to learn how to bow straight. Tell me how you like this product. More reviews will come. So stay tuned, subscribe, give it a thumbs up. It helps me a lot. Stay strong on the violin and keep practicing and of course have fun practicing. But maybe you can also use this. Or I don't know, maybe you have a, another idea how to use this.